How's it going, guys? Episode 15, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Welcome back. Last time we left off, we got ran out of the town by a giant mob of zombies, which uh, basically chased us all the way to this northern part of the town. We found this... Uh, actually, we had a glorious standoff with the mob uh, in a car right here at the, this corner here. And then we... Uh, uh, took refuge inside this house here, and we do have a few zombies outside, so we're actually going to go deal with those zombies real quick. Just clean them up. If I'm going to take refuge in this house, I want to get rid of these zombies that are just chilling up here. There is a lot of them. So let's just get this over with. Let's draw this grabber zombie onto the bush. He'll be the first victim of our rampage. Just like that. Broadsword cuts through him like butter. He had some bifocal glasses, so he was blind just like us. Maybe we could have been friends, but unfortunately, I just couldn't let it happen. Let's let the zombie smash through the window. Maybe not. There you go. I'll smash through the window. Let's let this zombie come through the window. There he comes, and we'll smash him up, and he'll blow up and cover us in bile for the third time today all right now we'll head back over let's butcher this oh that corpse i guess we already butchered sweet let's head back down into this house now and let's take a look inside see what we can't find so we've got a lot of books here which is good alpha male quarterly trap and field these are all good books mechanical mastery grinding off rust and making uh cursive ease interesting okay and a corn, corn. Oh, Muslim. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Wow. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Book the Quran. Uh, big book of first aid. A foam book. Pretty darn useful. Uh, pretty useless during the apocalypse. Yeah, I would imagine. Cool. Let's see what else we got. We got something on the ground here. A telescoping umbrella. Telescopic umbrella. A comic book. Maybe we'll read that. Here's the kitchen, what appears to be like a pantry, maybe. Yeah, pantry, tin can of curry, uh, a box of pastries, uncooked. Did it say uncooked pastries? I just want to, oh, toaster pastries, okay. Kind of like a, basically uncooked Pop-Tarts, which I mean, aren't really technically, I don't really consider those uncooked. Bunch of stuff in here that we can eat. Let's close the blinds. Let's come up and open this door. No surprises, that's good. This will be where we're sleeping. This is where we're going to stay for the night. It's only 1 o'clock, though, so we're not going to completely settle down yet. But this does seem to be the best place to stay for now. Maybe not. I might find another place, but lots of lots of uh, medical supplies I would actually really like to take. Preferably the uh, Prozac or the disinfectant. Fuck. Let's take some aspirin right now, actually, since we have so much of it. 195 pills. No, 190. Take some more vitamins. Can never take too many vitamins. Just got to keep burning through those as I get them. Did I go in here yet? Yeah. All right, guys, so that was that house there. The other places I kind of went into, but I didn't really officially clear them. Hmm. It's really tough, like, do I try to head to another town? Do I push to the hospital? Do I try to find a better place to kind of set up camp in, in the town? There's a sporting goods store right there in the center. It's only 1 o'clock. Let's make a push, actually. We'll, we can always come back to this house if we need to, if we need a place to stay. But we pretty much slaughtered every zombie in the center of the town, so... Let's kind of dip around the edge here and try to see if we can't maybe make it to that sporting goods store. Because we do have a lot of flares. Um, wow, torso encumbrance is really fucking high. Why? I wasn't paying attention. What happened? What's hurting me right now? Encumbrance and warmth. Pain, thirst, hunger. I am very hungry and thirsty. Let's deal with that right now. Eat the biscuits till we're full. Drink some energy cola, some lemon lime soda, some fruit juice. Drop the bottles that we just created. 
That should save us some space. A lot, actually. Did that help at all? Actually, it did. Wow. Huh. I didn't... That helped a lot. Or maybe the stimulants over there is just what's helping. But I just didn't think that it... That, uh... Being hungry and thirsty played such a large effect on your... Uh, your encumbrance. I don't think that is what happened. I think being wet is playing an effect and some other things. It makes sense. Your clothes are wet, damp, heavy. And it affects your... Affects your, uh... Ooh, spore cloud. I do know what the fuck those are. Kind of. I mean, I have a, a, a good enough idea. Oh, well, we can't stay in this town, that means. Guess I never really plan on staying in this town anyways, but it's just... Wasn't expecting. You know, that evac shelter right there wouldn't be a bad home. Because you're right on the outskirts of this town... You have that town, you have that town, and you have that. There's four towns all around you. But I would hate to, like, drag you guys on another adventure all the way back north just to get to a... Hmm, I came down here and ran into the same group of zombies. Yeah, we can't we can't fuck with that zombie hawk. Not sure if you guys have been following me on Twitch. I think uh, one or two of you guys followed me on Twitch. If you did I manage to catch my last Cataclysm episode I was playing on there, I'm not sure... Let's see, how long ago would that have been? I'm not entirely sure. A couple of days ago, maybe. I did have a couple of people watching. If you caught that episode, I got... Oh, man. I got pummeled into the ground by a Hulk. Like, just thrown across the map and beaten like a fucking ragdoll. It was pretty fucking awful. I'm really tempted to go check out this uh, evac shelter here. Since I don't really want to mess with that Hulk. And I don't have enough inventory space to clear anything else out. Tempted to just make a trip up here to this evac shelter, but god, that's so fucking far away. But if I made that evac shelter a home? Hmm. hmm. So far away. I could hit this evac shelter, cut up, hit this evac shelter, run up and hit that evac shelter. You guys are probably looking right now like, dude, don't do it, man. That's such a long walk. You guys are right. It is a pretty long walk, but I'm getting kind of desperate in terms of I want to find a place to settle down. That, you know, because I feel like by the time I unload everything from my shopping cart and my inventory, set it up in one of these nice homes here, I'll have this town mostly cleared out. But if I set up all the way up here, I mean, look at those towns. There's two very large-sized towns right here in the area, plus a school and a hospital. I just feel like there's a lot more to do north. And I, who we, who knows how many, like, military outposts and uh, labs might be in this area. Yeah, fuck it. Let's head this way. All right, guys? For the sake of the series, let's do it. All right. We're off. Off on a mission. I think we can make it there before nightfall. If not, we're probably fucking screwed. So, don't really have much of an option. Um, but I do want to hit this uh, evac shelter over here just to see maybe there's another s may there might be another M NPC honestly he might shoot me in the fucking face because uh, he doesn't like the way I look I mean it's hard to say I did I take ugly I did take ugly so he might just shoot my face off because he doesn't like the way I look what's this walk right past it a flyer advertise a local radio station has a lot of bright colors and patterns but no definitive message other than 104 all the best all the time Cool. 104.4. 104.4. All the best. All the time. Yeah, maybe I'll check that out. Tune into your station and check it out. How's that sound? A giant fly, a groundhog, all sorts of cool wildlife out here. Let's see what's in the car, trunk of this car here. Could be maybe a map or something. Cardboard box. That was extremely disappointing. All right, evac shelter. What do you have for me? At first glance, it looks like nothing. However, it's pretty much nothing. How about downstairs? Oh, there's some stuff down here. Some thread. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, an oil lamp. Damn, why didn't ours have all... Uh, our fucking basement didn't have all this cool shit. Can I unload that oil lamp? Is that something I can do? Because I should have two of them now, right? I should have one inside my cart, so I should be able to unload the... Oh, I need a container for the... Uh, oh, no! 
I spilled it on the ground. Son of a bitch. Do I have a plastic bottle on me? No, I guess I could drink something. Let's take this battery. Or battery, oh my god, the flashlight. Which we're going to get, ta I'm taking to get the battery out of it. <laughs> Jesus. What am I thinking? Drop the empty flashlight. Now we have a battery. Some jeans. A tent. That's extremely tempting. Oh god, more vitamins like that. I need, like I need more fucking vitamins. A winter coat. Can of dumplings. A flyer. No bottle to put my fucking oil I just dumped on the ground in. Can I still pick it up? You can't pick up a liquid. Is that it then? That's it. Once I dump it on the ground, that's it? I can't pick it up? <sighs> Whatever. I'm not going to think about it. I don't want to think about it. Let's not think about it. Let's just keep moving, guys. Let's we'll pretend that didn't happen. I keep forgetting I have the oil lamp on me. I should try to figure out the recipe for crafting uh, oil because that would be a really nice light source to have all the time. I've never used one. I don't know how it burns. Yeah, as you can see, I haven't done a lot of things in this game. I know. I'm fairly new. I hope that doesn't bother you guys. By fairly new, I mean I'm completely new. Get away from me, dog. Uh, but I'm not new. Uh, I'm not new to roguelites, which uh, roguelite games, which is kind of why I. Dog. There's a zombie dog coming towards me. A giant wolf spider who's acting aggressive. And a black rat who's tracking that wolf spider's host uh, hostile. Normally, you don't see that too often. I honestly wonder if this regular dog over here is going to jump on me because of this zombie dog. No, he's probably not going to get the chance. Giant wolf spiders aren't moving towards me, right? That's the one thing I don't want to get hit by. Grim Howler. What is that? That is a fucking zombie dog. That's terrifying. I've never seen those before either. Oh boy. Oh man. Wolves are scary. Okay, well, once again, another anticlimactic scene brought to you by Fuckets. Alright, we're going to the forest here. Not really something I want to do. There is an evac shelter right through here, though. Let's try to go around. Oh, man, that giant wolf spider, is he following me? No. He was just moving around a lot, and I think it was kind of like acting like he was tracking me, maybe. Oh, Jesus Christ, no! Oh, my God, not this time, Moose. Look, he's... What are you doing, Moose? You're ignoring me? Yeah, bullshit. You're going to act like you're ignoring me. I bet you get right fucking down here and charge at me like a piece of shit. Get the fuck away, Moose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, now you're hostile. Oh, my God, you've got to be kidding me, Moose. I, I'm... Oh, whew. you picked the wrong fucking time. Oh, man, you picked the wrong fucking time, Moose. We're doing this. God, the Moose is still fucking me up. That's right. Get the fuck down. I, oh, me and Moose, oof, we go back. We have a history. We don't get along. I'm going to butcher you. The fucking pig you are, Moose. That's right. Damn, he even got, he got a nasty fucking hit on our torso. What a fucking prick. Ah, oh, Jesus. He's just like, don't mind me. Just, uh... Just ignoring you, just ignoring you. Now I'm tracking you and I'm hostile. Boy, hopefully we don't come into uh, contact with another moose. I just don't know if I can handle it. What is that that we discovered? I didn't see that earlier. Another military outpost. Boy, I don't really have any military IDs or anything, though. I don't really know. Sp uh, spitter zombie and a crack. Ooh, crack. Spitter zombie. Lots of smoke over there. Chipmunk. All right. Let's pull the spitter zombies, see if we can't get the crack to walk on his ass as soon as he spits at me, which I know he will. Maybe. Is he not going to come after me? I'm I, there. Oh, and a crack. There is um. I mean, I had to pop my neck there. It was bothering me. There is some clothes on the ground there. Let's actually, can I see what the clothes are? Or what, what's there? No, it doesn't look like I can unless I get a little bit closer. Well, honestly... It's probably not worth it. I mean, actually, it probably is, but... Mm. What do you got for me, basement? Anything good? A blanket. Other than that, pretty much nothing, right? Ooh, first aid kit. Cool. Tin can of ravioli. Mm, nothing too bad. Oh, the first aid kits were a nice find, so... Nothing wrong with that. 
Once again, I can't get over the fact that we had nothing in our basement, so that's kind of shitty. Here comes the fucking creature of the fucking night. Come here. Come on in. Come on in. There you go. And the Kraken's going to sit right on his poison, and he melts away. <laughs> awesome. Well, maybe I will go check out what's down there now. Let's uh eat and drink real quick, though, because I'm trying to... I'm honestly trying to go through a lot of this food and stuff. I have a lot of it. Cranberry juice. Um, I'm pretty sure that can go bad, so let's drink that up. Let's just drink it up completely. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Hmm, that wolf spider over there. Hopefully, I don't get hostile. So here's a close blob H and an amoebic mold. What the fuck are those? Just when I think I've seen like everything in the game, they just throw something out else at me. You know, I'm just gonna go the other way. I don't like all the shit that's over here. There's a bunch of smoke and stuff. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Fucking wolf spider, who's is he hostile? Is he tracking me? What's he doing? He's ignoring me for now. Unless he wants to pull a fucking moose on me. Don't mind me, just ignoring you. Just kidding. God. We're a little less than halfway there. Holy shit. Okay, let me walk a little bit straighter here instead of all. Oh, I'm fucking running around like a maniac. I should have grabbed, I should have tried to make room for one of those tents. I might be sleeping out. Oh, yeah, it's 1700. I might be sleeping outside for a little bit one of these nights. Here, there might be a town up here. Let's go see if there's a small town we can find a house to stay in for the night. This is kind of cool. I'm liking this, like, living on the go, actually. This is kind of neat. I've never done this before. I usually just stick to, like, one town, and I usually just hang out in that town till I die. I've never actually, like, moved this much. It's actually pretty exciting. I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I made the decision to do it. I'm ha having a little bit more fun with that. I'm mean, having fun in general, but I'm having more fun moving around, and I feel like it's helping me stay alive a little bit better. Oop. I'm terribly sorry. You guys are getting bored of your mind right now watching me just cross this fucking town. There's a pipe there. Dog still tracking me. Come on, dog. Get the fuck away from me. Yep, perfect. I was right. <gasps> yes. There's a science lab right next to this swamp, and we have some science ID cards, but I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Am I ready for that? There's a house right here we can kind of stake out in, and maybe we can hit the lab. Why not, right? That would be a lot of fun. I really want to do that. There's a lot of fucking zombies in this town. A clothing store and a river. Oh, this might be a nice spot to set up, too. I mean, I've got the town. I've got the lab right there. Two military outposts that are within a decent amount of walking distance. A town right here. A river. A forest. There is a swamp, which I heard I think can be pretty dangerous. But then two towns up here. Ooh, this might be, if I clear out this small little town, it could be a very potentially nice area to set up. Come on. Yeah, I figured you were going to spit this way. Just wait for you. Damn it. Luckily, they're not impervious to their own spit, so... Just wait for that to clear up. Okay. There is a lot of zombies. Let's hurry up and get rid of them. Zombie and dog coming this way. Damn. I think you ripped up some of my clothing. That's really disappointing when that happens. I'm not going to lie. It does bother me a lot. Not a lot, but I just... Why can't I not grab in the cart? What am I... Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Here's the river. Cool, cool, cool. So if we follow the river, it'll take us right to the lab. A clothing store, two parks, and a house. Let's check out this house, because that's probably where we're staying for the night. I'm already liking what I see. There's an American flag out front, so that pretty much already sums it up for me. Here comes the giant fucking horde of zombies that caught wind of me. Let's get inside this fucking roller here. Wow. I done fucked up. Break this window. Can I pull a zombie through that? Yep. Just pull them through the window and butcher them one at a time. They're fat, so they're very slow. Mm -mm, I feel sneeze coming on. I feel sneeze coming on. Oops, I did not mean to go through the window myself. That's okay, though. We're fine. We got this under control. Uh, stop butchering now. Okay, 
That's all the zombies there. And that zombie there. I could check and see what they're carrying, but I'm not going to worry about it. Seems to be my kind of house. American flag out front, all patriotic and shit. Small little kitchen. Little, like, uh, maybe dining room area, bedroom. And then the bathroom was in here. Huh, the bathroom's locked. That's interesting. Oops. Oh, no, it's a porch. That's why. Okay. I know I saw a bathroom. It must be this right here. Yep. Lots of medical supplies. Did not mean to stick my face in the toilet like that. Aspirin, some bandages. Um, I can take both. The vitamins, the first aid kits. Gallon jug of bleach, some saline solution, some caffeine pills. Those are things I may, may want to grab before I leave. Disinfectant as well, but I won't worry about it for now. A book, How to Succeed in Business. Oops. Actually, yeah. Just wanted to see what was out there. Cool. So there's a bunch of stuff here. Paper wrapper chewing tobacco. Interesting. Let's close the windows. We will probably go through and clear up some of the town if I can. Zombie child. Where are you, zombie child? Let's deal with you. You have a lot of zombies. Just kind of want to... Oh, my sweet fucking lord. They haven't saw me yet. Just back inside slowly. God, children of the fucking corn. Holy shit. And a zombie necromancer. Okay, did any of them spot me? Zombie necromancer? He sees me, but he's ignoring me. For now. Alright, let's just close the door and ignore that threat outside. Big book of thir first aid there. We do have some chem lights. Some, uh, what the fuck? Where did you come from, fatso? Son of a bitch. Damn it. Let me guess, you came through the fucking window. You bitch. God damn it, I just fucking closed that blind. And you broke my fucking door. You fucking asshole. Alright. Sweet. Nice little spot. This will be where we hang out. I'm going to kind of sort through some stuff and clean the place out. However, unfortunately, we are out of time. Sorry, guys. Um, we found a small little town here on the way back up north. Kind of said, screw that one town we were in. And we found a science lab. I do have some science IDs on me, so that's very exciting. I think what we'll do is uh, maybe set up a small little outpost in this house here, stay here for the night, heal up, eat, drink, maybe read some books, and then maybe head on over to the lab here with some of our science IDs and see if we can't open some doors and see what we can't find inside, right? Maybe get some uh, cool shit. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode. Tune in next time. It's going to start getting really fucking crazy. Uh, glad you guys stopped by. Have a good day.